Hello, Roboteers! Welcome to the Robotics Parlor. I'm Zofia, and today we will be exploring the amazing world of artificial intelligence. Our first robot of the day has gained a level of self-consciousness. Researchers from Belfield University in Germany have created this robot called Hector. Now, last year they unveiled the robot, and at that time, it could go over obstacles and reach goal areas, and had elastic drivers that mimicked natural movements in its leg. At that time, the robot was only reactive, meaning that it would have sensors and it would react to external stimuli and adjust accordingly. But now, the researchers have created a program which allows the robot to imagine solutions. It will, when it comes across a problem, come up with different solutions of how to solve the problem, and then it will assess the solution that's the best before taking that solution. It also has memory and learning algorithms, so the researchers will better understand what the robot is doing by observing it, rather than knowing ahead of time. The robot will also have moods, so in the same way that a human being, when they're in a good mood, are more likely to do something risky, and when they're in a bad mood, they're going to be more careful, the robot will react that same way. And they'll be able to tell what mood the robot is in based on how long it's taking to make decisions and how risky the decisions are. This is just incredible to me that our technology is going in this direction and developing so quickly. Have you ever tried to learn something on YouTube and then instead of learning something somehow got distracted and ended up watching lots of cat videos? Well, the robot we're about to talk about has you beat. It learned how to cook watching YouTube videos. Researchers from the University of Maryland Institute for Advanced Computer Studies have created a robot that by watching cooking videos was able to replicate those tasks. The robot had four complicated task algorithms. First of all, it had computer vision for allowing the robot to understand what the objects around it were and use them. It also had to make decisions using artificial intelligence and then precisely manipulate the objects. And lastly, it had to have natural language processing. Part of the reason they also chose cooking is because it's a very complex task. In order to, let's say, cut up a cucumber, you first have to identify a cucumber, identify a knife, pick those things up, cut it precisely, and then look at the result to see if that's actually what you want. The way the researchers made this robot work is instead of copying just movements from the videos, they actually copied the goals. This is an example of robotic learning versus robotic programming, because in the past, we've been able to make robots that can do very precise tasks, but every single little movement has to be pre-programmed. This kind of technology will be groundbreaking, especially in things that humans can't do. For instance, dangerous tasks like defusing a bomb or going to a place with a lot of nuclear radiation. Thanks for joining me in the robotics parlor today, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on some of this artificial intelligence research. I think it's absolutely fascinating and maybe a little scary. If you want more information about the stories, there are links in the description. And a thank you to Emin Drive for sponsoring this project. As always, I hope you have a robot-terrific day!